Hello viewers, welcome to Destined to Win tutorials and projects. Uh, today we're going to be solving why questions and change of subject of the formula. So this is a question from WIAC 2016, OBJ question 14. So it says here, make S the subject of the relation P is equal to S plus Fm square over Nr. So here, remembering uh, the earlier video on introduction of the topic, so here we have, let's write this down again, P S equals S plus SM square over NR. Our major goal is to take every value, the values S to the left hand side of the equation and every other value to be on the right hand side. So from here, let's cancel NR from the denominator. So we multiply every value on both sides. Multiply both sides by NR. Every value on both sides. So this will give you what? NR multiplied by P equal to NR multiplied by S plus SM square over NR multiplied by NR. Why this? We cancel this. So we are left with NRP equal to equal to NR S plus SM square. Let's bring out S from um, causes on the same. Let's bring out S here. NRP is equal to S bracket NR plus M square. So let's divide both sides by NR plus M square to leave only R, S. So we have NR plus divided plus M over NR plus M square. This will cancel this. So we are left with bring S here. S is equal to NRP over nr plus m square so from here our answer the correct option here is option d the next question is from why 2015 obj question 34 it says make k the subject of the relation where t is equal to all square of tk minus h over k minus h the first thing we do here is to remove the square root the square root which is over k so in removing the square root i told you earlier that we square both sides so this would be t square is equal to squaring both sides this will cancel off we're left with tk minus h over k minus h so from here we multiply both sides by k minus h so we have t square bracket my multiply by k minus h equal to t k minus h multiply by k minus h so this will cancel this let's just open this bracket here we have t square k minus t square h equal to t k minus h. So from here, let's um, take k. Let's bring k to the left hand side and bring all the values here. So we have t square k minus t k is equal to bringing this here to be a positive sign. So let's leave it here. So we have t square h minus h this is remain with its, with its own sign so from here what's common here t k so we have t square minus t equal to t square h minus h from here divide both sides by t square minus t we have k is equal to t square h minus h over t square minus t and our correct option here we can also further bring h is common here so let's 
let's further simplify this k is still equal to h over t square minus 1 over t square minus t so this is our answer k is equal to t square minus 1 over t square minus t and our correct option here is option a the next question here is from Wyeck 2014 OBJ question 14 it says make you the subject of the formula from here let's uh, try to remove what is in the denominator to make things easier by doing that let's just go further let's be fast we multiply both sides by 2g so we have 2g multiplied by e here equal to m over 2g multiplied by 2g bracket v square minus u square so this will cancel this we are left with what 2g e equal to m bracket v square let's open this bracket imme <coughs> immediately so we have m v square minus m u square we are looking for m as a subject we are making m u u i mean the subject of the formula so so from here we have this so we bring m u squared to this other side of the equation so in bringing that we have it to be a positive sign equal to bring taking this to the other side would be a negative sign that's minus 2 e g let's just arrange this so from here what what's the next thing we divide both sides by m and we're left with u square equal to mv square minus 2eg over m from here we can't leave we're looking for making u the subject of the formula so to remove the square what do we do we square root both sides So we're left with u is equal to all square. Let's arrange this. So we have mv square over m minus 2eg over m. This will cancel this. We can further simplify this as this. u is equal to all square root of v square minus 2eg over m. And our correct option here is option a let's go to our next question oh yeah but we can still treat this this should be a slight mix-up but this is from jam 2012 question 11 this will still help us to further understand the change the change of subject of the formula it says here make n the subject of the formula if w is equal to v bracket 2 plus cn over 1 minus cn so we have first thing first let's cancel what is on the denominator so we have w multiplied by 1 minus cn equal to v bracket 2 plus cn over 1 minus cn multiply by 1 minus c and this cancels this let's open this bracket we have w minus c n w equal to let's open this bracket to 2v plus c n v let's collect every term that has n in it and let's just try to maneuver which will be better for us how will it be better for us to go so let's do make it do it this way to avoid confusion with our our signs so bring 2v here we have minus 2v equal to bringing this minus to this other side equal to cnv plus cnw so we have w minus 2v what's common n let's bring n out we have c cv plus cw the next thing to do is divide both sides by cv plus cw so let's divide 
cv plus c w cv plus c w so this will cancel this we are left with bringing n to the left hand side we are left with n equal to w minus 2v over cv plus c w c is common c is common in this so let's bring this out so we have 1 over c all into bracket w minus 2v over v plus w so this is our final answer so what's our correct option here our correct option is option a where this is v thank you for staying tuned and see you in our next topic thank you